slide 76, lesson 4, demonstrative pronouns, this, that, these, those. Now we're going to have a look at demonstrative pronouns as opposed to the adjectives we saw before. So let's have a look at some examples. The first one, who ha'ish, who, ha'ish, who, that means he, and ha'ish, the man. So he is the man, or in, as a demonstrative, uh, that is the man. That is the man, who ha'ish. So that's the masculine singular. Now, uh, demonstrative pronouns precede the noun. So if we, if we remember the adjectives we saw in the previous slide, the, the things in red, the um, demonstratives, were at the end of the noun. Now, these are at the beginning. In any case, it means the same sort of thing. Uh, but they precede the noun um, and agree in gender and number, but not definiteness. That means they don't have to have the hay, uh, which means that in front of them if this has uh, a hay in front. So that's a little bit different to the previous example. So, so the difference between this and adject the uh, demonstrative adjectives is that the, prone, the demonstrative is at the beginning of the, before the noun, not, not following it, and it doesn't have to have the hay on it if the uh, uh, noun has a hay on it, or a, the definite article. In any case, the important thing in all this is just to learn these words. Um, you know, when I learnt Hebrew, I didn't carry all of this stuff in my head, all these rules. Uh, but I knew what those words were, and I could read it. Um, where you're not having to construct sentences. Um, in the in the academic books, they go into all the nuts and bolts of the language and all the ins and outs, um, and you learn more and more about less and less. Now, to be fair to the academics, they have to teach things uh, correctly but you don't need to know the language to that same degree in order to read it. So I just learnt words, and um, I've found that that has been quite helpful in teaching me how to read. So don't get hung up on all this. All right, let's have a look at the next example. A lay. Remember, a lay means these. Ha'anashim, the Men, anashim means men. Hatavim, the good. So the adjective here agrees in a number and in definiteness. It has the im as well as, and it has the hay just like this. But the demonstrative, because it's preceding the noun, doesn't need to have the hay on it. Okay, it's just this little rule. In any case, you don't need to remember that. You just need to know how to read these words. These, the men, the good. And you can, you can, these good men, you can work it out. So I'm just formally telling you about these rules. But the main thing is learn the words. So that's a masculine plural, a lay. All right, here's another one. He, ha'isha. He means she, ha'isha. The woman. The woman. So she is the woman. She is the woman. But in context, it's that is the woman. That's how we would translate it. That is the woman. Because we don't have a feminine and a masculine version of that, um, unlike Hebrew, which just uses the word for he or she, for the word that. Okay. Another... Another um, example, again that was the feminine singular, he, because um, this is a singular. Okay, and it doesn't have the hey, because it doesn't need to if it's a demonstrative pronoun, it, where the demonstrative is preceding the noun. Okay, hina ha nashim hatavot. Okay, the women, the good. Now, uh, hine 
Ohenna means uh, th those. Those are the good women. The good women. Now, it doesn't have to have the hay on it in this case. Uh, but the adjective does have to fo agree with, with indefiniteness. It does have to have the hay. If it says the women, then this has to say the good, literally. If you, you don't say it like that, but uh, it has to have the hay at the front. Uh, it has has to have the same plural as the the. Uh, it has to agree in gender, and this is a feminine word. It's a masculine-looking feminine plural. It's a it's a feminine word meaning women, but it's got a masculine-looking plural ending. So that's what you call an irregular uh, plural uh, ending. Um, but we know that that's a feminine word, and so it's followed by f the feminine version of tov. It's tovot. That's the feminine plural version of tov. So we could say tov, or tova, or tovim, or tovot, depending on if it's a, a singular or plural masculine or feminine word. Hene ha nashim ha tovot. Those are the good women. And that's the feminine plural. All right, final example, this one from the scripture. Zay, Zay means this, it's a masculine version. Zay hadava, because it's the same, this is a masculine word. This is the thing or the word. Zay hadava, ashia, that means which, ashia tzava Yahweh, which commands Yahweh. This is the word which commands Yahweh, or this is the thing which commands Yahweh, depending on the context. Zay hadava ashia tzava Yahweh. Now notice this little vav, it's got a dot in it. You'd think that might be a shurik, that's an u sound, but it's not. That's, that dot there is doubling the vav, so it's tzava. And why do we know it's doubling it? Because it's got a vowel under here. So it means that this can't be a vowel if that's a vowel. It means that this is that dot there is being used as a a, a daggish uh, a, a daggish uh, forte to double the uh, the letter and harden it. This is the thing uh, word which the Lord or Yahweh Yod Hey Vav Hey hath commanded. Zehadavai Shia Tzavai Yahweh. So here we have demonstrative pronouns. They precede, they go before the nouns. And they agree in gender and in number with the noun, but they don't have to agree in definiteness. They don't have to have the hey. In any case, just learn these words and you'll figure out the sentences without knowing all the fancy talk rules. Okay.